Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to learn how to actually configure your Pluto SDR so you can run it on a Mac OS or in your MacBook using your MacBook. All right, so this is a very simple setup. Uh, right now, as you can see, my Adlam Pluto SDR is connected to my USB port. Uh, it has two USB connections. Uh, this is just to power it up. This is where you want to connect your uh, cable and the other end of the cable should be connected to your Mac PC or MacBook, whatever you have. Right now I'm connecting it to my MacBook Air. Uh, this icon will pop up. So before we move on, if this is coming up, that's good. First piece of software you need is GNU Radio Companion. So I already made a tutorial on how to install GNU Radio Companion on your MacBook or in your Mac PC. So second piece of software you need is just this piece of software, which is um, um, I, I need to have an internet access so let me do this so second piece of so just simply open it up and go to info.html just go here and it will open up this page uh, as you can clearly see getting a started page you need three sets uh, first like go to getting it started the second piece of software you need is horrendous uh, just simply click this and download it I think this is already start downloading. I've already downloaded it. Just simply double click and run it. So let's look at the installer. Just click OK, continue, continue. Okay. Then just simply type in your password. Uh, I've already installed it, but I'm going to show you, tell you what will happen. Since you're downloading this software not from a proper app store or not from uh, a proper identified developer, it you will see a security pop up. Would you allow this software? So what do you need to do? Just simply go to your system preferences and let me just cancel it and go to your security and privacy. And it should say that this particular software, uh, do you want to run it? Just unlock it using your password and click open anyway. This will properly install the software because this is a third party software. So you need to give permission to it. So once you have already taken care of this software, what do you need to do? Go to your terminal. Uh, so let me, I already have my terminal open up. So I'm just going to open a new tab, new window and go to your terminal and simply type in this command, which is right here. IIO, IIO dot underscore info tag S. So I'm going to simply type in this command, IIO info tag s now you can see that i have a, my pluto sdr which is connected that has a default ip address of 192.168.2.1 once you have your pluto sdr connected you have properly successfully installed horrendous and you have run this command you know that this is analog devices pluto sdr which is connected just simply ping this ip address just simply type ping 192.168.2.1 if the connection is properly done everything is good to go you're good you will start seeing a ping messages and you will see no timeout message so we're good to go then now once you have done this so everything is good to go on another shell so you need GNU radio companion so I've already launched my GNU radio companion and this is what my GNU Radio Companion looks like. So I have just simply brew up a flow graph, which is basically a uh, flow graph where I am transmitting. So let's look at it clearly. This is basically a flow graph where I have a signal source. I'm using Pluto SDR transmitter end as a transmitter. And then Pluto, Pluto SDR receiver, because this is a, ha a full duplex system, you can transmit and receive simultaneously. And this is the flow graph that is actually receiving what is being transmitted from my transmitting end and is being received by my receiver. Uh, I am sending 150 kilohertz of signal that is going into my Pluto SDR sync, which is actually depicting your transmitter end of your Pluto SDR and Pluto SDR source, which is depicting the RX part of my, of, uh, my Pluto SDR. And this, I'm just seeing this, whatever is being transmitted from my transmitter, I'm seeing it on my receiver end using a same flow graph so this is how that simple this particular setup is so it's, it's a quite a simple setup just to see everything is working fine 
as I have already told you, I'm using some type of a GUI ranges and things like that just to see. All right, so let me just simply run this flow graph. Once you run this flow graph, now what happens is this. You're transmitting 150 kilohertz of signal that is being received by my receiver. So let's check it out. All righty. Uh, so let's improve RF, uh, RX gain. Uh, you can change frequency as well. So let's change the frequency. And let's, it's hard to tell from here because it's hard to tell. Let's look at our frequency component. All right. So this is my zero megahertz. All right. So uh, this is a positive frequency. So I should see a frequency. The way I'm going to look at it is this. Because my transmitter and receiver is so close, I'm going to look at the highest peak on my right-hand side. So if I were to look at this highest peak, that is around... 279 megahertz or 279 kilohertz let's see if it is my transmitting frequency or not indeed it is it is at about 280 kilohertz as you can clearly see this all right so it is happening all right let's change this frequency to something something else let's change this to 680 kilohertz and let's look at our signal what i'm going to do i'm going to look for the highest peak that i'm going to see all right, 680 kilohertz. All right, I'm not seeing this peak. Why? Because the the bandwidth that I've chosen is is quite small. So so let's let's look at some other frequency component. All right, let's look at this component. All right, let's look at our highest peak. All right, this is around 441 kilohertz, and let's check our frequency. Indeed, it is 440. It depends because of the bandwidth of this particular signal. Um, so I hope you like this small tutorial on how to configure your Pluto SDR and, uh, and how you can actually uh, brew up a small flow graph to see the transmission and reception. If you have any questions, leave it in a comment section and don't, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.